Hi everybody, welcome to Behind the Music. Welcome those of you that have tuned in on YouTube, Facebook and GX Radio platform. We are glad to have you this week. Jeff, over to you, my brother. Yes, hi everybody. Can I just say bang, bang, stiddly D, Lelo <laughs> <laughs> That's just me having a little laugh. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see everybody oh, and welcome to the program today. Uh, we've got a great guest for you today and we hope yep. you're going to be blessed. Uh, we'll be talking about a couple of subjects um, and hopefully uh, it will ring a bell with you and you will be able to sort of resonate um, yep. with us and just enjoy. And God bless you for being here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, amen, amen, amen. Listen, we have a guest who's uh, already been a previous guest with us. That's the... Uh, Darren Ferguson, very talented and gifted musician. Darren's a drummer, um, resides in the UK here. Um, he's the son of Bishop Glenn Ferguson and Lady First Lady Ferguson. Um, and he is with us, and we're going to be talking about, as Jeff said, uh, quite a few different topics, but mainly um, talking about, you know, coming out of pandemic and the effects he's having on churches and worship. And we're going to remember one or two people as well. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce Darren. I believe Darren is waiting behind the wings. Here he comes now. Welcome, Darren Ferguson. Hey, how are you guys doing? Hey, man, for God bless you. Thank, <laughs> Thank you for you coming for back me. on, Darren. Thank you for coming back on. No, it's a privilege. Thank you for having me again. We had fun last time. Yes, yes, we did. We did. Yeah. Listen, yeah. last time, you know, we spoke about um, you as a person individually and, you know, what the, what you suffer with, uh, the chronic uh, kidney disease, and you had a knot pending. Um, so how's it gone with that? What's happened there? Let the viewers know. I mean, it's, it's still pending, unfortunately. The operation was meant to be about three weeks ago now. Um, mm. But unfortunately, there was a couple of complications with my donor, so had to be cancelled last minute, unfortunately. But you know what? God knows what he's doing. Amen. It will happen, Amen. It will happen at the right time. Amen. So listen, Darren, we yes, know sir. that um, Faith Dimensions has a up-and-coming event later down in the year. Talk us yes. through the event. And um, I know there are a few people. You go ahead. You Talk us through the event. Okay, so basically the event is called Recovering Our Praise. We are, we are so excited about this. Um, Amen. You know, our, my dad, Bishop Glenn Ferguson, has really been preaching about, you know, giving God thanks. Mm -hmm. You know, the scripture that says, let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. You know, he's really been preaching about that in the last few weeks. And, you know, we're just coming out of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. you know, and the church is being shut down. The, the voices have been quietened. Mm -hmm. But dad felt that we need to give God a serious praise, uh, mm -hmm. you know, coming out of... You know, many people have lost their lives, you know, mm -hmm. but the fact that we still have life, we're still mm -hmm. alive, you know, that evening is going to be, oh, man, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Oh, man. We're, we're so excited. We're, we're so excited because, you know, the government are letting the, the footballers go back. They're letting the tennis players go back and they're, they're trying mm -hmm. to keep the church quiet. Yeah. But we mm -hmm. come on at night and make such a noise. Yeah, amen. You know, we've got some amazing, amazing artists 
you, you know, Annet B, you know, uh, Mike hey. Brown, uh, Mike know, Brown, Nikki Brown, yeah, man. Nikki Brown, Jenny Brown, man, hey. be awesome. It's gonna, <laughs> yeah, that's what I can say. I know in the Browns. <laughs> I know in the Browns. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Hey. Not even related. They're I know. Related, I know. But, I, mean, I know. But hey, listen, you know, all, but, all um, within their own rights, very um, established yeah. artists mm. and musicians, very gifted. Amazing. I must say, um, yeah, I know all of them, and I'm not, you know, I have a lot of respect um, for all of them. You know, um, yeah, and yeah, so that's going to be a great night. But listen, you know, I, I I know that um, you know, we we know many people that you know have been affected um, by COVID yeah. and lost. Um, dear ones, loved ones, some have lost brothers, sisters, mothers, some fathers have lost sons, daughters, uncles, yeah. nephews, aunties, even grandchildren, you name it. Um, mm -hmm. But listen, I know that, you know, Faith Dimensions um, had, had been impacted um, yeah. by, you know, loss of loved ones. Um, and one that I, um, I had met in 2019, um when i was last at faith dimensions um which was another powerful night um yeah. and that was sean very humble guy very gifted very. saxophonist uh, one of those very. musicians that you know um he didn't really understand how good he was yeah sure you know and how talented he was and you know some yeah. Sean would give a little blow and a little lit, Jeff, you know, and he'd say, Sean, go, man, step in there, step in there, go, man. And he, he would, you know, when the scripture says, prefer your brother. <laughs> Sean, man. Sean, Sean would just say, nah, nah, it's all right, you know, yeah, I just yeah. bend in, and, but man, the guy could blow, man. Wow. Could blow. Could. Darren, tell us a little bit about Sean yeah. and how it impacted the worship team, because we know this resonates throughout the world, you know, yeah, many churches of love, loved ones. So, mm. you know, we want to talk, just remember Sean, you know? Okay, yeah, sure. I mean, Sean, you know, as soon as I think of him, he's like the most humblest person I've ever met. Mm -hmm. And I and I honestly mean that, not just as a musician, but just as a human being. Mm. You, you know, he he's he's just amazing. You know, yeah. yes, he was a saxophonist. And um, as you say, he didn't know how good he was. Mm. But he was also a very, what little people don't know, he was a very good sound engineer as well. Yeah, you know, um, yeah. he he literally put in a brand new system in our church, you, you know, and this guy would go from work, come into the building maybe mm. seven o'clock at night, and work right through to the following day, and then wow. go home, shower, and then go to work, and he wow. done that many times, mm. many yeah. times, you, you know, he just God, man. dear servant of God, you know, if yeah. if something yeah. needed doing, you know, on the sound desk, he said, you know what, let me put down my sax for. Mm. Desk, you, you know, and he he was just that kind of type of guy. Just make himself available. You know, he didn't want it, wherever he needs. Exactly, he did. exactly, and he didn't want nobody knowing. Nobody, you know, he wanted his mm. work done in secret. You, yeah, you, you yeah. know, but I mean, he is he is he is um, sadly missed. That yeah. is sadly missed. You know, um, you know, he leaves behind a beautiful wife and a son, Sashel mm. and um, Joshua. You know, mm -hmm. again, amazing people, but. Um, Sean, Sean was one of a kind. You, you know, yeah. you don't you don't really find Christians like that nowadays that are so selfless. Mm. You, you you know don't really want to be seen in the limelight. You know, just want to serve. Just want to serve. Just want to serve. Yeah. Just want to yeah. serve. And, and he greatly missed greatly missed within yeah. our within our worship team. I can imagine. You know, I can imagine. Yeah. Greatly yeah. missed. And it's just, yeah, sorry, go on. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, I'm a great believer that, you know, um, the Lord does things that sometimes we don't even understand, you know. And um, yeah. uh, uh, a thought that runs through my mind all the time is that, um, you know, when God's got something for you to do, you know, um, your time's not done until you've done that job, you know. And um, I, I believe exactly. that, you know, he, he he's done what he what he needed to do. And, and, and you're right, sometimes we don't yeah. see, but God has that mission for him to do and mm. he's done it and mm. the Lord called him home. So, yeah. you know, we just have faith. And I just encourage others out there that, you know, it may feel, it may seem insignificant to you, but, you know, 
in the sight of God, you know, God mm -hmm. is a reward, yeah. for, you know, those that diligently seek him. So, you mm -hmm. know, I, yeah, I, sure. I, I, I trust and I have faith, you know, but by his his works that you're speaking of now, you know, that the Lord will reward him, you know, and we just like comfort each other, you know, with those words, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. You, you know, sometimes, you know, Dad says in his in the message, sometimes, you know, we we look at the evangelists, we look at the pastors, we look yeah. at the bishops, yeah. you know, who are going to get the greater reward. But sometimes it's that person in the background who Absolutely. is cleaning the toilet, who is, yeah, you know, definitely. tying up the cables that nobody sees, yeah. you mm. know, but it's God that sees the heart of that person, Yeah, you, you know, and, and Sean was definitely that type of guy. Wow. He, he, you know, who done so much behind the scenes, and other people may have got credit for it, but it was it was Sean. You, you know, yeah. and then, wow. then we say, Sean, go, go, and you know, go to the front. Let people. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love him, and I, uh, you, you know, yeah. he'll sure. always be missed. He'll always be in my heart. You know, and. Uh, it's just unfortunate, you know. It was a it was a great sadness, yeah. A great, a great sadness that you know this COVID came on the planet, and unfortunately, mm -hmm. you know, Sean lost his life to COVID. So it was a mm -hmm. it was a massive massive shock to the family, his yeah. friends, and the ministry. You, you yeah. know, because um, you know, one minute somebody's here, and next they're not. Mm -hmm. you know, and yeah. it was really painful because I remember talking to him on the Sunday before, you, you know, just having a normal conversation. You know, and, and we say, "Oh, I'll see you next week." You know, yeah. or, 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 I talk, yeah. or I talk week. You, you know, and um, I remember getting a text from his wife, Sash, that saying that he's been admitted to hospital. Wow. You, you know, and I said, "Okay, we're pray." You, you know, we're praying. You know, obviously, we didn't know the circumstance at the time, so you know, we were saying we believe God for a turnaround. And ne next, I'm getting a text from Sash saying, "Darren, he's gone." I'm like, what do you mean he's gone? <laughs> you know, I was only talked to him a few days ago. Yeah. You, you know, yeah. but God knows all things, man. And it's, you know, as a believer, we have to know and believe yeah. that we will see him again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he, he's in a better place. Yeah. He's in a better place, man. But yeah, enough respect to uh, Mr. Sean Grant, definitely. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. God bless. Yeah. You know, we've lost... Um, it's amazing now um, we've lost some, some very, very um, skillful musicians, you know, not just through COVID, but, you know, before and through COVID. I'm just thinking back now, as you're talking about Sean, to um, a drummer I grew up with, um, Solomon Mead, and just, and this was a long, quite a while ago, you know, we lost Solomon. He was part of the uh, inspirational choir and um, also, just recently, you know, um, great guitarist Paul Reed. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so yeah, it, it's 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 there's losses all yeah. around. But you know, that night when we're coming to Milton Keynes, Darren, you know, we're coming to yeah. recover. Yeah, recover, recover the praise. Recover. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Recover it's like the praise, you, said, you know, it's like the church. Well, listen. To be honest, right. It may look like the church has been kind of under mm. the a cloak of the government where we've been quietened down, but really, you know, you can't really you can't quieten the, 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 the power of God. You, listen, because you can't, you can't. we are the church. Yeah. So if you look at it now, right? Even if that was what they tried to achieve. Man, yeah. there was more church ever than than ever before. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. You yeah, can yeah. zoom into this one, yeah. zoom into <laughs> that one. You know yeah. what I mean? You just zoom, zoom. Yeah. Everybody was yeah. just, in, you know, for that's probably in mm. this time. It this we've probably been to more church services on a Sunday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Than, yeah. than we have yeah. done. You know what I mean? Because we yeah. don't have to drive. You yeah. can yeah. into. Yeah. This one, then you can dip into that one. So fellowship has still been there. Yeah, and, you know, the body of Christ has still been vibrant and relevant and, and yeah. still the faith has been still being built. The word of God is still being preached, yeah. you know, and we have to thank God for that. Thank yeah. God, as you were saying earlier, Darren, we was talking about technology behind the scenes. I've thanked God for some of the technology that we have, yeah. you know, and for guys like Sean that were technically minded as well. Yeah you know that yeah. have these ministries of helps that that god gives yeah. us you yeah. know yeah. um who would have known you know in a time where you know the doors 
of our, our church buildings have to be shut, that we yeah. would still have fellowship. Yeah, still have fellowship. Still have fellowship. Yeah, I, I need to jump. I, I need to jump. Yeah, in go James, come on. Seriously, I mean, just what you've said is just like resonated to me so much. And I just want to take the opportunity to thank my guys from my local church. And, you mm. know, when I look back, I just resonated with exactly what you say, Clive. You know, I mean, we've we've got guys who are, uh, you know, technically competent, technically minded. You know, we've always had the, 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 the you know, the engineer stuff in church. Mm. But then all of a sudden we've we've been doing broadcast, just like, you know, I keep joking with the guys like the BBC. We've, our mm. church turned into a studio where we're actually, mm. you know, uh, recording stuff, sending it out. And, and we've began to reach people that we would never, ever reach outside yeah. of the four walls. And, you know, I just want to say that, you know, I just believe, you know, that, that God is just like in control. And many just, other churches yeah. would not have reached people right now in this year had this pandemic not hit. And God is just, you know, um, the Bible tells you that, you know, we're, we're all as lively stones making up a, making up a, a, a house. Mm. And everything that everything yeah. that the house needs, God has already planted in the house. And, mm. you know, people have just come it's forward not. with the gifts of, you know, technological expertise, you know, um, all sorts of stuff, you know. And, mm. and they were the ones that you never saw in church. And all of a yeah. sudden, <laughs> you know, and God has just blessed us so much. And um, I just want to just, like, encourage us that, you know, we just remember that, um, you know, the Bible says you know, a thousand years, you know, is like a day in God's sight, you know. Mm. And, and we think, man, it's going to take ages to get all these church stuff. Where are we going to reach people? How are we going to do it? And in the in a moment, you know, God just yes. the ways, man. Seriously. Yeah. My my days. I mean, you know, in the <laughs> in literally within the twinkling of an eye. Yeah. Mm. You know, we are reaching yeah. at the flick mm. of a button. We are reaching yeah. so many around the world. Darren, listen, that yeah. night, will will that will that yeah. service be streamed? It will be. It will oh, be. We're going to be streaming on uh, YouTube, Facebook, our website. But, um, you know, we just want people to come and just come and have a great time yeah. because we know that people have been locked down, have been in their house, you, mm. you know, and this, this may be the first time people are actually getting out since the pandemic mm -hmm. started. So we're telling people, you know, bring your whistles, bring your tambourine, bring, bring your dancing shoes, man, and just, yeah. just come ready. Just come yeah. ready, man. Yeah, right. You know, you, you so it's going to be such a joyful noise. So listen, what's the environment going to be like? Because obviously, you know, restrictions have been lifted. Um, yeah. So what what are the the um, guidelines now? So what can we expect that night? Because, brother, I don't want to come in with no mask. You know, I'm not Batman. <laughs> I'm brother Clive. Me, me's not Batman. I mean, of course, we're going to be wise. You, you know, yeah. because that even though the church is open, mm. some people are still are still fearful to come. Yeah, for real, for real. So for real. We're, we're not going to be heartless and say no, you can't come. So mm. there will be a section for those people that may be a bit fragile. You, yeah. you know, but on the on the whole, people can mm. just come, be free to worship. Yeah. You know, I don't know if you saw when um, England were playing in the Euros and those guys were going crazy and jumping Listen. over everybody and throwing yeah, beer all over. You, you know, how much more so the body of Christ. Yeah. You yeah. know, now that we have that freedom, yeah. you mm. know, come, make a joyful noise, come in your mind. You, you know, yeah. God has saved me from the pandemic. You know, I've still yeah. got my job. I've still got food in my fridge. Absolutely. I've still got this and that. You know, so come with a thankful heart and come ready to recover your praise, man, because I'm telling you, I'm telling you, man, I'm, I'm coming to play. I know Clive's going to be ready. Hey, listen, <laughs> I'm ready, man. I'm ready. I'm already ready. I'm just, um, like I said, you know, I'm waiting to receive some tracks and mm. thing to, you know, start the rehearsals and so forth. But yeah, man, I'm ready. Look, there's, there's the flyer. You can see yeah. a flyer there so listen everybody if you are in the milton Keynes area this is uk milton Keynes. yeah saturday the 2nd of october 2021 yeah. faith yeah. dimensions milton Keynes, 63 stratford street wolverton milton Keynes mk12 5lt please make it a date and don't make be late 
<laughs> bring slip-ons. Don't rather bring my heels because you won't be wearing them. Ladies, slip-ons. Yeah. Gentlemen, trainers. We got to have a dance. Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> no, I'm looking it's forward gonna be, to it. It's going to be awesome. The last, the last time, you know, Jeff, listen, the last time it was Ooh. just something. Wow. Man, it, it really was. It, it was something, it was. man. I mean, um, from biblical yeah. right through to Mike Brown, Isaiah D. Raymond, and Daniel Brown, Pastor Daniel Brown, and his, his dear wife and his daughter, his, his ministry team there. It was something from start to finish. It was amazing. From, it was listen, great from start to finish, man. It was just on a high. And yeah, you remember when I might say the song? And it died. D, go on, man. Because oh, this is man. It was, it was, it was, it was sound to behold, man. But you know what really done it for me was when um Mike played that last song. Yeah. I can't oh in Christ man. alone. In, that's the one. In, in Christ, Christ alone. alone. Listen, that that one man. just that just literally it was like father said, okay. I need to hear this. Everybody just yeah. chill. But nobody couldn't hold back. Nobody couldn't hold back. Nobody could yeah. hold back. I, I nobody could nobody could hold back. <laughs> that man played with an anointing that night. Yeah, he, he did, like he, he always he, does. But I mean that night, Mike Brown. Listen, yeah, yeah. In Christ yeah. alone. Man. I'm hoping um he, he will be um around for the next one. I'm hoping mm -hmm. um that will be part of the repertoire. Yeah. Um, for that night, um, because truly, he, that that when he plays that song is such a blessing. Yeah, such really a is. blessing. I know that it's going to be streamed live and it's going out. You know, I know mm -hmm. a lot of people will appreciate and enjoy that. And we need to be uplifted right now. Yeah. Um, we need to keep the uplifting going and to yeah. encouragement going. Yeah. You know. Um, you know, I don't know if this means anything to anyone, but just this week I was sharing with, and you know. I don't even really know how to put it because I wasn't praying at the time, but it's like the Lord just showed me like, I ain't got any scriptures or anything. He just showed me like mountains. Yeah? Mm. And he, the question was like, which mountain are you climbing? Mm. Mm. So I paused and then I just heard like the Lord just say in my spirit, mountains I created are for beauty. Yeah. So they don't cause obstructions. Right. They cause great pleasure and great joy, and they can provide a safe haven as well. Yeah. However, yeah. the mountains that are created out of destruction do the opposite. Right. Mm -hmm. And the question to me was, which mountain are you climbing? Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you on the mountain that God created? Or are you on yeah. one that was caused by destruction? Mm. You know, sometimes you have volcanoes and you have some a, yeah. a destructive mountain is one that would just literally block your path. Mm. You know, you feel like you're coming up this mountain, you, you, you're exasperated. You're never, ever going to get over it. You can't get around it. Yeah. Mm. If you're on the mountain like Mount Horeb that God has created, yeah. you know what I mean? You find your way up. And you find safe places to stop as well. Yeah. And yeah. God has ministering angels along the way that encourage you and help you as well, you know, and so forth. So, yeah, it's just something that could be for somebody. I don't know. Yeah. That's but, it, you know, if you if you if you find in life a bit tough at the mountain side, you know, just just question yourself. Just question which mountain you claim climbing, which mountain are you on? You know, mm. and um where is it taking you what's at the top you know is it is it, is it god gonna meet you at the top or is the destruction at the top you know yeah mm. i don't know listen looks like darren's just uh chipped out i know he was having some technical issues earlier yeah. on you know but listen you know we've spoke about so much jeff yeah uh, I, know, I like, I I like your know. thoughts about the mountain man and uh i just want to yeah just remind everybody as well that you know God is a creator of all things, and as you, as you said, Clive, that you know every uh, uh, every mountain, you know, you know, in God's eyes, yeah, it's made for beauty. But you know, we also know that that every mountain can be made low, and so mm. I don't want you to be 
stressed about, you know, the mountains that you may be climbing right now. Mm. You know, um, Moses had to get he had to get up into the mountain where yes, he could meet God. So yeah, sometimes exactly. you know, meet the, that mountain mm. there for a reason. And sometimes, yeah. you know, David David once says, I can't remember the scripture actually, but David once says, you know, I thank God for my trials because in the in those I know who God is. And mm. you know, sometimes, you know, we think uh, that trials are just there to defeat us, but trials are there to make us stronger as well. Um, and yeah. so lift your faith and just trust in the Lord and. He will do all things, you know. So uh, yeah. that, that that that's great. Um, I, I think as well. Um, be, before Darren comes back in, I think we want to talk about the nominations as well. Uh, while we're at it, um, Clive, for the uh, the awards uh, in the USA, uh, which we know mm -hmm. that, um, uh, that that GX Radio has been nominated for uh, one or two of the, uh, the 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 various awards. So again, we want to just push that. Mm -hmm. um, opportunity if you go to the spin website www the uh, dot the spin awards dot com and there you can vote um i've already done my vote so uh go ahead and make your vote make your voice heard please go ahead and make your nominations known on spin awards www the spin awards dot com as jeff has said and you will be having you will have an opportunity to vote for your favorite artist or presenter or best musician of the year whatever category that you feel you want to vote um please do go ahead and 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 place your vote um i believe the website is still up and the nominee the nominations are, are still relevant so please do go ahead and do that for us um listen i was hoping that um we would get darren back in before the end of the show. But listen, I want to say to everybody, God bless you all. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting Behind the Music. We love you all and you know we're here to serve and we hope that you're being encouraged. Uh, whether you're a musician or not, though the show may be about musicians, but it's not just for musicians. Um, we want to we want to uh, richly encourage the body of Christ, iron sharpeneth iron. So we're going to bow out. Uh, we hoped you would tune in again next week. And so it's, uh, as the two Ronnies would say, it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from him. God bye bless bye. you all. Bye-bye. God bless you. <laughs> it's a good thing we know the two Ronnies. <laughs> Hey, listen, <laughs> we're old enough to remember them. Some people we want are. to say, who are they? Two yeah, Ronnies. That's, that's it, man. That's uh, cool. Two of uh, UK's best uh, cool. comedians. Absolutely. Yeah, two well, Ronnies. God bless you, God bless you. God bless you. Good night, everyone. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.